we go. Pull, pull, pull. Bigger, bigger holes. Strong muscles. That's right. And good morning. All right, had to call an audible today. I was hoping maybe to get one more stint up uh, up at elevation today, but once you get outside, you'll see why I had to cancel those plans. I was going to go maybe to about 8,000 feet uh, just to get it one more little rolling hill work uh, to get ready for the bridges of New York City. Uh, and by the way, yesterday's massage plus going to the sauna, like the legs are Today I woke up and had no niggles, no pains, no soreness, so today is Tuesday. So remember my goal was to have 10 out of 10 by Monday. Didn't quite happen, but today I feel I feel completely back to normal as far as how the legs are feeling. So this is a good sign, but uh, because of the conditions outside, we're not going to 8,000 feet. Instead, we're staying local. I'm still going to go find some hills, get, some, get a little baby hill work in again to just get ready a little bit for those bridges in New York City. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, we are basically in rest mode, rolling into uh, the, the five boroughs of the Big Apple, so it's exciting. And yes, uh, we are, oh man, oh man, we're, we, got some, we got some fun things to open here that have arrived. So we're also going to go check the mail here in a little bit. And, uh, and yes, oh man, holy smokes, I don't remember his name. Someone, definitely from Europe. Oh, I want to say maybe from Germany. Someone that watches, uh, you know, on a regular basis encouraged me to create a new opportunity for all of us to communicate. So I'm going to talk about that in the studio later, how we're going to be able to uh, go, go further into discussion about all sorts of topics. So I will get you up to date on that soon. I think that's it. Uh, just going to get the, get the rolling on before going. And then, oh, I think uh, this stability disc, again, I should have bought this five to ten years ago um my you know just like lower ankles my feet just niggles just little pains from the pavement in amsterdam right now this is my best friend just rolling out nice and slow those ankle rotations which if you didn't see yesterday's blog i actually walked you through three exercises three movements i call them that i do with this stability disc so as you can tell we're moving along excited and uh shall we do this all right one two and three. And let's go. Here we go. Let's go. It is full on winter here. It's not even Halloween yet. Supposedly we're going to trick or treat Thursday, uh, the night before I fly to New York on Friday. So we'll see. We're going to have to put on our parkas and ski goggles and all that good stuff. Holy smokes. I haven't seen snow like this before Halloween in a long time, probably 10, eh, 10 or 12 years. So this is something else. It's good. It keeps me in check so I'm not running too much. You know what I mean? Before New York, just simmer down now, simmer down now. Looking forward to opening these boxes with all of you tonight. Okay, man, what a change in the weather. Oh man, I remember I was in t-shirt or no t-shirt just like three weeks ago. Crazy. All right, let's run. Okay, call an audible, no filming on the run today, but you all know I'm not afraid to film in the cold. Right. I love getting out there and just filming in the snow and the ice, but today, five days out from New York City, there's no reason for me to spend more time outside in the cold than I need to, right? Don't want to get sick, don't want to mess with that at all. So, uh, therefore, audible today, no filming today with the hills. I will talk about the hills out in the studio, but 
Uh, a lot of questions coming in about the tea that I drink a lot. Most, mostly I drink this turmeric tea uh, from Tipson. And uh, turmeric is a, if you didn't know, is a natural anti-inflammatory. So I don't know. It's made out of, it's kind of in the, uh, the family of ginger. It's, a, it's like a root-based um, tea. So I drink it and it feels good, especially on a cold day like today. So that is the deal, turmeric tea. And yes, I do uh, pick it up. Uh, I just restock all the time. So from the grocery store or you can get it down below. You better believe it. All right, now a little chicken noodle soup. Don't mind if I do. All right, boys, we got a task ahead of us. You want to open some boxes? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right, box number one. We've got one, two, three, four, about six boxes. And these are items that have arrived over the past week. And so here we go. First one, oh yeah. Re-upping on the Lumi outdoor spray for the shoes to make your shoes smell good. This is the citrus. Let's see what else is in here. Oh yeah, another one of the lemon eucalyptus and then the lavender. That is what I'm talking about. I know True Love is excited about the lavender. Okay, boys, you go put those somewhere. Thank you very much. Oh, and we also got something for, oh yeah, foot and shoe odor eliminator powder. Pretty cool. So this box is arriving from Honolulu. Uh, let's see here. Hi, Seth. These shoes have only been used once for a six mile run. Hope you can forward them to a runner in need. Props to you. Really enjoy your channel. Best regards, Dwayne. Dwayne, you rock and yes, the running shoe giveaways will continue. I promise, I promise. It's just um, time. If that's the end of the day, it comes down to time and technology, figuring out the live streaming again. Rainbow These shoes. are Newton running shoes. Oh, you want to pull those out, boys? So there you go. Not using the uh, big knife just because of, oh my goodness. Okay, more, there we go. More Unived Elite Drink Mix. Oh, I just love it. I love it. The Elite, Elite Drink Mix Endurance Fuel, in fact, I'm gonna use some more uh, today. Here we go, so this box connects to the New York City Marathon. You better believe yeah. it. More Morton gels, so I'm gonna talk about this tomorrow. Yes, I will be using gels in the New York City Marathon and I have a new strategy. Again, I will talk to you about this tomorrow. Okay, Joseph, yellow box. All right, last one, so. Uh, sure, okay, can you rip it? It's kind of hard, here, use that hole. All right, Joseph, you wanna rip this one? Okay, rip that. All right, what's in here? Boys are helping. Nana's special! That's right, Nana's. So Nana is my mom. Oh yeah, butter my bread. This is for my mom, the New York City Marathon. Bada bing, a bada boom. Actually, this connects to today's run, the five bridges. There's my t-shirt for New York City. This is the five, guys, I have to run over these five bridges in the race in New York City. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Um, so I decided to get myself a jacket. I'll put this on for date night tonight. Is it the Statue of Liberty? That was so fun. All right, now see you in the studio. Boom. Oh yeah, always a good time opening boxes with those boys. They love it. It's like a little mini, uh, little mini birthday every uh, every couple weeks. So they have a good time in there. Okay, let's dive into the five bridges of New York that I will be crossing. And yes, oh, as far as I seek in beauty, there's a, I really appreciate the beauty of New York City. Like there's a lot of different ways to seek beauty, right? Uh, obviously in in nature. Uh, but also, I really appreciate uh, beautiful architecture, and New York has a lot of it, including uh, their bridges. Now, we don't run over the Brooklyn Bridge, that would be pretty cool, uh, but we do run over the Verrazano Narrows Bridge in Staten Island, the Pulaski Bridge in Brooklyn, the Queensboro Bridge, I like that one a lot, in Queens, the Willis Avenue Bridge uh, over into the Bronx, and then back to Manhattan on the Madison Avenue Bridge. So there are the bridges there, and yes, they do create 950 feet of elevation gain in this 26.2 mile race. So it's not, you know, it's not messing around. But today I felt good about my little hill work uh, here in Denver. And if you're a local to Denver and you're looking for urban 
hills to run. Uh, Google Loretto Heights. It's southwest Denver, and it's just a lot, a lot of hilly neighborhoods over there. So that's where I went today. Gained 750 feet of elevation gain over 12 miles. Held 730 a mile in this crazy ice and snow. So I feel really good about that pace, actually. Um, and I, you know, I didn't go hard. I just wanted to get one more, um, one more effort uh, going uphill and downhill. I got to practice the downhill as well. And tomorrow. I'm going to talk about my, is that tomorrow? Might be the next day. Anyway, my race strategy for NYC, for the Big Apple. Uh, so that was today's workout that I actually ended up not filming again because I didn't want to be outside longer than I needed to just with the cold and not wanting, I don't want to get sick. Don't want to get sick before NYC. So, oh yeah, and here is the elevation chart of the New York City Marathon. So there's the bridges. And again, as I already mentioned, the Verrazano Narrows Bridge is the steepest. Um, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say the steepest, but it has the most vertical gain. Looks like it's about 250 feet uh, in the first uh, mile and a half, approximately. So I'm, I'm excited to knock out a good chunk of elevation gain right at the beginning while the legs are still fresh. If the Verrazano Narrows was at the end, oh my goodness, I think there would be some major carnage out there on the course. But so there's the elevation chart overall looking good. Um, yeah, and I'll talk about my race strategy soon. Okay, here we go. Damore Global Running Discussion Boards. Okay, I strive to do my best to communicate with all of you on a consistent basis. Now, six months ago, when this channel had 10,000 subscribers, remember that? I have the sign down there. It was, a, it was easier, of course, you know, to answer most, if not all, of the comments down below on YouTube. Uh, and definitely answer. I could answer all the com uh, questions on Instagram and Snapchat um, and Twitter. Frankly, I haven't really started uh, interacting with all of you on Twitter up until really like the last three months, like on a higher level. So I'm really enjoying all the discussions that are happening on Twitter. Uh, butter my bread. Uh, so we've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, the Demore Global Running Group on Strava, right? We do have uh, the Facebook page, which is good, but the Facebook page is a one-way channel, meaning I can communicate to you, but unless you send me a direct message, you cannot really communicate back to me, okay? So again, shout out to this gentleman, I believe in Germany, I, I don't remember, but he basically was imploring me to see, he said, listen, I think it would be really helpful if we started a new Facebook group. That's right. So I know I realize not everyone is on Facebook and like social media, you got to it's a balance, right? You don't want it to uh, dominate your life, take over your 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 day. And it easily can, especially with where especially with this in our hands at all times these days. So I realize not everyone is on Facebook, but the Facebook groups have really improved, I think, in the last I'm not just pulling it up right uh, right here in the last, let's say, two years. So what can happen on a Facebook group is that you can uh, answer. So this is how it's going to work. It's posted down below if you want to join, but you have to answer three questions. So I want the group to be very uh, rich, meaning people that are really invested in this YouTube channel um, are going to answer these three questions. And the questions I think are difficult enough that people will have had to been watching this YouTube channel for three months, uh, or sorry, not three months, three weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, but they like you have to watch a little bit consistently to know like the answer to these questions in order to be approved into the group. And then once you're in the group, you can post in the group uh, under specific topics. And that's what I really love about Facebook groups is that, and I'm just pulling it up here, like I have groups here, uh, BQ goals, so Boston qualifier goals, Tokyo Olympics 2020, uh, winter running gear, uh, running injuries, uh, trail running, all vlog ideas for Seth. So it's like all these different topics that we will be able to discuss and you'll be able to bring up your own topics, uh, but I have to approve the posts in the group. So you will post something, I will get a notification probably once a day. I will go to the group and I'll look at all the posts and I'll see because I want the topics and the discussions to stay obviously on topic, on point, uh, to running, to the YouTube channel, to, uh, yeah, those general areas of discussion. Uh, so does that sound good? So this is a new way that we are going to be able to talk, 
communicate, go deeper into plantar fasciitis, go deeper into our favorite running movies of all time, go deeper into uh, our top predictions for the Tokyo Marathon in February. Whatever the case may be, that is the goal for the Demore Global Running Facebook group down below. And again, you have to answer three questions correctly in order to be approved. Okay, just making sure I didn't miss anything. And that is that. So actually, question of the day, here we go. What is your preferred way to communicate via social media? List all the social media that you like to communicate with, or maybe just one. And maybe there's one that I don't use at all at this point, and I will learn from you by reading the comments down below. Um, my favorite is probably, it's either Instagram or Twitter at this point. I'm really enjoying it. It's probably Twitter right now that might change in the future. As far as like communication, obviously YouTube is always communicating because I'm uploading every single day. But if I had to pick two for me right now, it would be Twitter or Instagram. So I love you all. All right, vlog's not over. We're heading out, going to date night. Let's do this. Surprise time. Surprise time. Seth, come over, come over here to the coffee table. We didn't even let you take your coat off. <laughs> there you go. Okay, now you take the scissors. Okay, let, let Nana see. Let Nana see. Woohoo! Yay! That's right. Yeah, the New York City Marathon. Isn't that neat? G I, ha I have to go over five bridges oh, through the five boroughs, says Seth. Um, is the color good? It's perfect. Isn't it good? It's perfect. And then it has a little emblem on the sleeve there. It has the Statue of Liberty. That is their emblem, huh? Yeah. So, oh, thank you. Thank running you. for you. My mom didn't get to race the New York City Marathon, but I'm going to race it for her. You better believe it. All right. And it, I, is the size, you could try it on. Okay. Michael! Perfect. We're escaping out the back for date night and Michael just saw us. Oh boy. Oh, run. Michael's getting a little, a little attached to us these days. All right, true love. We're going on date night. Oh, good, good. Good. What we got so snow day. We got the New York City Marathon gear. We're having a great day. And we love you all. Really Thank good. you for the support. Yeah. And just like this, spreading the word about the channel. We're almost at 40,000. Oh my goodness. Oh You're my goodness. Are you coming to 10,000? I was talking about that today oh in the studio. Oh my gosh. How we, were, how we were at, um, we were at 10,000 just a uh, hop, skip, and a jump ago. So. Hop, skip, and a jump. We love you all. And you know, true grit and blood, sweat, and tears, Bill. Yeah, boy. So. Couple marathons. Couple marathons, <laughs> couple craziness, couple flights. So oh we're doing, getting, getting it done, getting it done. And we will see you all in New York. Huh? Huh? So it's going to be good. All right, tossing it back to that little clip I showed you on uh, Tory's Peak. No, where was that? It was uh, Quandry Peak on the right. And then on the left, we're going to go back to another freezing snow run. There you go. All right, seek beauty. Work hard. And love each other. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.